How's it, Aloha gang, and welcome back to High Now Daily. We are gearing up for the Thanksgiving season, and we're joined right now by Michelle Cordero Lee and Jewel Colvin from Hawaii Meals on Wheels. Welcome into the show, you two. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. I love our hats right now. We're seeing the different stages, actually, that the turkey <laughs> may go through uh, throughout the month of November. But let's get to it. Yeah. Uh, Hawaii Meals on Wheels. Michelle, what's taking place this holiday season? Well, this year it's our fifth annual fundraiser, our big one, Malama Ar Kapuna, Thanksgiving holiday fundraiser, um, buying an eight-piece eight um, set, mm -hmm. uh, turkey meal package, will definitely help support our kapuna. Um, all of the proceeds from this event will support what's called our safety net program. And we're especially excited because we have five big foundation uh, funders, mm -hmm. First Hawaiian Bank, Par Hawaii, Pettis Foundation, Queens Health System, and UHA that um, are supporting uh, this event and will match every dollar for a dollar up to 55000 So we're super grateful for those oh, big five that sponsors. is awesome. That is so my cut uh, And again, it takes so many of us coming together to continue to support the mission for Hawaii Meals and Wheels. This is going to be a great opportunity to do that. So where is it going to be? It's going to be almost like a drive through situation, it right? It is. It is a drive through situation where you, it's at the um, Okinawan Center up mm -hmm. there in Waipio. And um, we're partnering with a catered experience. They're the ones who make all the wonderful turkey meals for us. And it feeds eight people. People, so we're asking for all of the support. Um, if you if you are already making a turkey at home, um, you know support us anyways. We're mm -hmm. so grateful. That's right, uh, Drew. I want to transition over to you because you know the volunteers and the people are such a big part of the organization that make it happen. Oftentimes, Hawaii Meals on Wheels. When you're going out and interacting with the local kupuna, you might be maybe the only connection they see that day. That is <clears throat> that is correct. And I being retired, I look forward to getting out and seeing these people on a daily basis. I know that I'm their only contact and I like spending time with them where I can just socialize for five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever they need. Mm -hmm. And I've got one client who is my book buddy. Book buddy? Yeah, we started talking about authors and finally we like the same authors. So we exchange books back and forth. And most of these people, when I'm out seeing them, I now really consider them to be like family to me because I get to spend time with them on a daily basis. Now, how often are you out on the road and what are the, some of the different <coughs> communities that you serve? Well, I do Central and Lower Kalihi on Monday and Wednesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And I do Liliha and Kokini on Friday. Now, you've been volunteering for some time, uh, Joel. What is your, your favorite part about volunteering with Meals on Wheels and being a part of it? Being able to interact with people who I would not be able to see on a normal basis. And that's it. I just love getting out and interacting and being with individual people. Fantastic. And go ahead, Michelle. Jewel is like one of our top volunteers because he takes on like four routes a week and delivers about like 20 meals every time mm -hmm. he, he delivers. So we're yeah. so mahalo to, to Jewel, who's a little spirit, just shines for everyone this Thanksgiving. Absolutely. I can yeah. feel it sitting right here yeah. how much it means to him, Jewel. You're yeah. my cut. you right on. And Michelle, I want to go back to you as well sure. because when we're talking about the, the service, it's very important because this oftentimes allows Kupuna to age in place uh, a lot of time and have the meals brought to them. Right, and that's exactly it. It's We're not only bringing nutrition, because so many of our Kupuna are food insecure, but it's also about the socialization. They really go hand in hand, and really a lot of people don't realize that isolation can be just as big a detriment to health as uh, a lack of nutrition. So that's what we're bringing is the socialization and the nutrition as well. Very important. Now, how do people get more information about Meals on Wheels and uh, continue to support the mission or sign up uh, to volunteer? Yeah, so just just go to our website and at hmow.org. Fantastic, Jewel, Michelle, mahalo nui, and happy holiday season. We'll see you guys out there. Thanks. Thank you, and we'll see you folks after the break. You're watching High Now Daily. We'll be right back.